Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video lecture, I'm going to talk about interviews, how to design the protocol, what to avoid, how to choose the participants, and what materials you need to use when interviewing someone. Hope you like it. The interviewing technique is a mainly subjective data collection tool and it is used either as a complement for observation procedures or experiment procedures or as a main data collection method. In the observation and the experiment procedures, this technique is usually applied in the end of the procedure. Interviews are useful tools to gather more information on, about a specific observed behavior or to clarify some aspects regarding a specific test or even to collect opinion of experts and stakeholders. In research procedures or research methods, you can find three main types of questions. Unstructured questions, misstructured or structured questions. The interviewing technique usually uses misstructured questions or unstructured questions. But the main idea to have in mind during this process is to find a balance between the questions and the natural flow of the conversation. The participant needs to feel at ease when answering to your questions. When planning your interview or preparing your interview script, you need to be careful who, on who to choose to interview. Make sure they are representative samples of what you want to understand. For that, the best option is to define a typical persona that you want to interview. Try to find out what age range that you want to select, the gender, type of skills of that person, education, occupation, and maybe try to provide a brief description of their goals. Another important aspect uh, to consider when planning is the location of the interview. It is good if you can do it in participants' own context. Please remember that you are the visitor and you need to make the participant feel as comfortable as possible. Also, it could be useful if during your interview you could do some annotations and observations. This will help you and complement your data analysis procedure. Preparation is one of the key aspects of an interview. It's what dictates if your interview is going to be a successful or not. Please prepare it well. List all the topics that you want to address. Prepare guides, annotation books, prepare the materials, train the flow of the questions. Try to do your interview protocol with much detail as possible. You should always start with an introductory sentence, a sentence where you explain the purpose of the interview, why you are doing the inter this interview, why they, you are talking to them, and how useful they can be to you. Also, in the protocol, please set expectations about the length of the interview, one hour, one and a half hours. Also, discuss the confidentiality agreement let them know that there is no right or wrong answers. And if you are using audio or video recording, ask for permission to use. When drafting the protocol, be aware of the importance of the first question. The first question needs to help you to set the tone, needs to help you to put the participant at ease and to put the participant in the right mindset to answer your questions. So, start with easy questions to answer. Example, what they do, describe your typical day, or small talk questions. Create an interview guide, and a guide that lists all the key topics and explain the, uh, and provide examples of questions. Avoid reading out and or writing down the questions. The interview should 
be a natural flow. The interview should feel like a natural conversation. Try to follow participants' leads. This can lead you to surprisingly insights. It's okay if you deviate from the guide, but please make sure that all the topics of the interview are addressed and make sure that the length of the interview is as expected. The guide should serve you as a checklist to verify if all the topics and questions are addressed during the interview. Is, here is an example of how you can do it. Also, please pilot test or interview. I know that I already told you before, but planning is very, very important. When thinking about who does what during the interview process, you need to think about of two many things. One is the participant. The other one is the person who does the questions, usually called moderator. Regarding the participant, you need to remember that the participant is the expert, so you need to make it clear to them. Be non-judgmental. There is no right or wrong answers. Also, if you are the moderator and at the same time you are designing the, the product or the service, be careful with your non-verbal behavior. Be careful to show the participant that you disagree with their answers. Please be as much as impartial as possible. There is one more rule uh, that you might consider to be useful during this interview process, the role of the observer. The observer usually is the person that is in charge of note-taking, the observing everything that happens during the interview process. He is also in charge of the preparation, bring the materials and set up the scenario for the interview. Plan and prepare all the materials need for the interview is an important aspect of an interview as well. Make sure that you bring all the materials need. Sometimes participants prefer to draft sketches or, or uh, uh, convey their ideas on a paper instead of talking about them. You can also bring other types of materials. You can bring photos, you can bring um, mockups, prototypes, everything that you need to convey your idea or to make the participant discuss theirs. Prepare also all the data collection materials like uh, audio records or video records or even photos. Be careful, make sure that they are all charged and ready to be used. In sum, some things that you need to consider when doing the preparation of the interview. Remember, the selection of the participants is very important. Also, remember to bring all materials needs to help participants to remember or to describe their ideas. Another important aspect to have in consideration is the effect of fatigue or feeling bored or time pressure. So plan your interview to last no longer than one and a one half hour. The confidentiality agreement is also important. Remember that interviews are not anonymous as a questionnaire. So make sure that the participant knows that all data gather is to maintain be maintained private. During the interview, please relax, enjoy. Begin with a couple of non-threatening uh, questions or topics. Offer some refreshments if needed. Try to do the interview in a participant's own context. Think about what you are wearing and try to make the setting of the interview as much comfortable as possible. Avoid to make closed questions. When needed, you can have a closed question with an answer yes or no, but then it's followed by a completely open question like, please explain further. Also, avoid to use long 
double barrelled or multi barrelled question. One topic per question. Break down in, into simple questions. Avoid to make questions that lead the participant to a specific answer. Also avoid to have bias questions. Also questions with jargon. Here are some examples of questions you can use. Phrases like, tell me more about that. I am listening, please go on. Or just use phrases that help you to better understand what the participant is talking about. Use phrases like, you mentioned this. Can you please further elaborate? Or, uh, as I understand, this is what you mean. Is this correct? Video, audio, taking photos, preparing observation sheets is also an important material to do and prepare during the interview. But please be aware that the best approach is to gather your notes right after the interview, including the audio or video recording, and try to go through your notes while your uh, mind is fresh. Take 15 minutes between each interview and compare notes, reflect on the results and think about what is useful, what is not so much useful and what is missing in this interview. If you feel needed, prepare some additional data collection materials. Tools like diaries, cultural props or user-generated data like notes, signs, objects like mockups or uh, even technology or a product can be useful to trigger participants' memories. A cultural proof, for example, is a package with a set of materials that help the participant or triggers participant uh, memories or help them to, uh, to engage in an open discussion. Diaries are useful when you need to gather information from the participant, but in the, from a longitudinal perspective. So for, for a space of time, for one day, two days, and it's not useful for you to follow the participant uh, to every place. So you ask the participant to be in charge of taking notes, diaries, of their own activities during a course of time. This is more or less what you need to know about interview. Thank you, enjoy your week and see you soon.